Hello everyone. I would like to speak about input from file and would like to show you all a demo on this. So what is input from file? The input from file allows the user to bring real world measurement data to have the manual control in Kamika. Let's say I start driving my car from location A to the location B. During my travel, I'm gonna measure the driver input such as brake, gas, clutch pedal input, gear position or I'm, I could also record the speed or the velocity of my car. I can bring this measured information into the car maker through input from file. Either I could give the gas pe pedal position or the brake pedal position as the target for the manual or I could also provide the speed target as the manual target for the simulation. Therefore, in CarMaker, we support the three use cases. You can bring the profile either time-based or you can bring the profile, the distance and time-based or you can also overwrite uh, the driver pedal positions. So, to use this input from file, you need to select the speed profile for the longitudinal dynamics in the maneuver GUI as it's shown in this slide. So once I select the speed profile and click on this configure input from file, I get this GUI. So in this GUI, I can select the measurement data which is saved in ASCII file format. So once I have this file, I can use the right channel that's the right column from the measurement data for the right quantity in Kameka. I can also provide a different stunt condition or I can also provide let's say for example the signal factor. If I have to convert the unit from kilometers per hour to the meter per second I can use the signal factor. It is nothing but the signal conditioning. So let's see a small demo on this. I have the car maker open. Let me create a small road. I would like to create a road which is around 10,000 meters and uh, create a small or create one easy route. So once I have my road and route ready, I would like to use the demo car. Create a manual for 500 seconds, let's say for example, and under the longitudinal dynamics, I have to select the speed profile. So under this speed profile, I can open the input from file GUI with this configure input file button. Once I have this input from file, you can select the measurement data from this section folder. So you can have the measurement data in the format of ASCII file saved under the same input of your project folder or you can also use certain examples what we provide along with the installation. Let's say for example I use this velocity.ascii. So I get some pop-up, I allow it. Once I select this velocity profile.ascii, I can use this content option long press. I get the option edit file. So I can see the ASCII file. I can also long press and go for plot file. I get this plot in the IPG control. So this is the plot. This is going to be the speed target for the manua. So I repeat, I am not going to override the speed of the car rather I would like to give this as the speed target to the driver or to the manuma. Hence I would like to select this checkbox the speed target. So once I select the speed target I need to select the right channel in the file. So the speed target the right channel is this well. I would like to use this well and under the time channel or under the time section, I need to select the channel time. When it comes to the factor, 
The time is in the seconds, hence I would like to use the factor 1. And you can see the velocity is in kilometers per hour. Therefore, I need to convert the velocity which is in kilometers per hour to the meters per second. Hence, I have to provide the signal factor from kilometers per hour to the meters per second by providing the conversion factor. It's going to be 0 0.2778. I can select the different start condition. Instead of gear 1, I can start with a gear 2. Velocity, I can start with 100. But maybe for this demo, I will just keep it as default. So once I provide the information for the input from file, let me close this. I would do start and connect the application. Let me also select the car velocity. Change its unit from meters per second to the kilometers per hour. So when I start the simulation, I would expect the speed of my car to be as same as the speed target. So once I start the simulation, I'm gonna cross check or I'm gonna compare the velocity of the car along with the input from file. So let me maximize the IPG control, select these two quantities and I can just cross check that the velocity of the car matches with the velocity of the input from file. So, I can also give you one more example. The extended use case of this input from file would be European NEDC cycle. So you can have the cycle maneuver input in the format of input from file use it in the car maker either it could be the test automation or the test manager you can use different powertrain configuration or a different vehicle and test for the emission you also have one example under the product example powertrain driving cycle nadc so this example includes road information vehicle information and the speed profile so that the driving cycle NADC measurement data. So this data includes time profile, the velocity, the velocity limit, gear and selector control. This is what it's been selected here. So once I start the simulation, the manual for the car follows the input from file. So, if you want to know more about input from file, I would suggest you to have a look into the user's guide. So under the chapter 6.9, we have explained about the GUI and about the different section, about importing the syntax of the measurement file and uh, the reference channel, let's say time-based or distance-based. Either you can have time-based profile or you can also have distance-based profile. So this is a short description about the starting values or the initial settings. So this is about the input from file.